Here is the simplest way to explain TCP and UDP. TCP and UDP are two core transport layer protocols that control how data travels across the internet. TCP is reliable and UDP is fast. Let's start with TCP. It stands for Transmission Control Protocol. TCP is reliable and connection-based. Connection-based means TCP sets up a link between the two machines before sending anything. They do a quick handshake before the real data starts flowing. Reliable means it makes sure all packets arrive in order with no duplicates. Lost packets are resent. It's perfect for when accuracy matters, websites, file downloads, SSH, emails, they all use TCP. Now let's look at UDP. It stands for User Datagram Protocol. UDP is connectionless and doesn't care about reliability. No handshakes, no retries, no guarantees. That makes it blazing fast, but less safe. It is used when speed is more important than perfection, like live calls, gaming, or video conferencing. We said UDP is orderless, so does that mean order doesn't matter in video? Not exactly. In live video, some glitches or dropped frames are okay, and we've all seen that happen. It's better to keep the stream going than wait for a missing frame. That's why UDP works well there. Let's look at how it's implemented in code. First, we create a socket and tell it we want to use TCP. That's what sock stream means. Then we connect to the server at port 80. A TCP connection has to be established before anything is sent. Finally, we send the message, hello. With UDP, we use sock dgram to say we want UDP. There's no connect step. We just send the message directly to the server and port. UDP doesn't check if it arrives. It just fires off the data and moves on. When should you care? If you're using high level tools like HTTP clients, SDKs, or cloud platforms, the decision's already made for you. But if you're building low level network systems, custom protocols, or tuning performance, then you'll need to choose between TCP and UDP based on your needs.